Hey everybody, welcome back to the Peebs channel. Today I'm gonna be going somewhere that I have not been in a very, very long time, Burger King. And we're gonna be trying out the Adams Family menu, I think it's called, the Burger King Adams Family collab, which features a few different items, but the main one being the purple burger, which looks like a monstrosity to me. I guess that's kind of the point. Unfortunately, there's no Burger King near where I live, so I'm gonna have to drive for a pretty good amount of time, so let's go ahead and get going. You're mine now. Get in my pocket. The destination is on your left, Burger King. Arrived. Can you see that? Can you see it? Okay, so I finally made it to the Burger King. It was really bad traffic today. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to leave until like three o'clock, but I'm finally here after about an hour of driving. This better be worth it, Burger King. I am starving though, so I'm pretty excited to be eating. Just have to wait in the drive through line. Hello, what can I get for you? Hi, can I get one of uh, the Adams Family meal? One of all, all of them? So you want uh, the which one? Uh, one of all of them. The Wednesday Whopper with uh, what kind of drink? Just the shake that it just the you want to shake the drink? Uh, one of all of them. I just, I want the whole meal. And can I can I get uh instead of may mayo can I get mustard on that? No mayo, add mustard. Instead of may mayo can I get mustard on that? So you want uh the which one? Yes, please. Can I also get some dipping sauce? What kind of dipping sauce do you guys have? I can help you with that at the window. Okay, I'll also get a side of fries. Okay, small, medium, or much? Uh, one of all all of them. <laughs> that was the most awkward order ever. <laughs> I had all this time in the car to think of a. Uh, how, how I was gonna order this. Instead, I came up with uh, one of all, all of them. Uh, one of all of them. Whatever it was I just said. But yeah, like I said, I haven't been to Burger King in so long. I really wanted to try some of their sauces, so hopefully they're good. I'd like to get one that's kind of spicy and maybe one that's kind of sweet. You guys like this uh, camera angle, by the way? We've been sitting here for a very long time. This person in front of me, I don't know what they ordered, but apparently it's taking a while. They ordered a ribeye steak well done, apparently. All right, we're moving, finally. Hi. All right, let's go. I'm hungry. I'm gonna find a spot with a little privacy <laughs> to uh, stop and record this. Okay, I think this is as good of a spot as any. Right off the bat, this shake looks pretty good. This is uh, Morticia's Cookie Chocolate Shake. I'm actually not even sure what these purple things are on the top. I'm gonna have to look this up. Morticia's Cookie Chocolate Shake. You don't have to be a psychic to know you'll love this delicious shake that features creamy soft serve mixed with soft chocolate cake batter and fudge giant topped with a black and purple cookie pieces. All right, I didn't get a straw, so I'm just have to use one. Luckily, I have a little collection of of straws here for, for for just such an occasion. I can pick which size straw I want. I think this one's gonna, I think this one's gonna do it. What is this? The bits on the top are definitely crunchy. I'm gonna look this up. I think it's like fudge or something. That's what I'm tasting. Yes, fudge with black and purple cookie pieces. It's both like melty and I also still can't drink it through the straw. Ma straw. Maybe it's because this was not the proper straw. Oh, they did give me a straw. <laughs> I'll just add this one to my collection too. I'm a pop of blood vessel trying to suck this up. You know, really, I don't even know that much about the Adams Family. It was Toasty who forced me to do this. I said, no, I don't think I can do it right now. I'm a little busy. And he basically tortured me until I did it. So you can blame him. The only person who gets to torture Peanut Butter Gamer. Me. Pretty much the only thing I know about Morticia is that she is the wife of the other guy and they're horny as hell. They are constantly trying to get down. Doesn't matter if the kids are there, doesn't matter who's there. They're basically just trying to fuck at all times. Can I taste their love in this shake? I taste fudge. It's not bad. All right, let's get to the food. I am so hungry. It's not actually part of the regular meal, but I did, again, want to try the french fries, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Here they are. Uh, they look, they're a little more thicker than, like, McDonald's fries. I remember when I was a teenager, there actually was a Burger King near where I lived, and I would sometimes go there. Their fries were really good with ranch, from what I remember. Unfortunately, I didn't get any ranch sauce. Pretty salty, not bad. Overall, I'd say pretty mid for fast food french fry standards, probably, but I don't hate it. Let's try the sauce. First, the buffalo. It looks like a kind of creamy buffalo sauce. I like that. Definitely better than McDonald's buffalo sauce. Their buffalo sauce is ass. I said it. Next to barbecue, these are the only two sauces that I got. A little smoky, not too sweet. I think I like it. All right, that was mostly just out of sheer curiosity for me because, again, I haven't been to Burger King in so long. I think I'm missing an item, aren't I? Oh, no, wait. Yeah, I am because I got the burger. I got the onion rings. I might have to go back to the drive-thru. Uh, yes, can I get the uh, Adams Family churro fries? You want a 4 a or 12? Uh, um, I'm sorry, what was that? 4 a or 12? Y uh, yes. Yeah, you want an A or four piece or four piece? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't. I 
and the canal? Uh, yeah, that'll be all. Okay, I was trying really hard to understand that, <laughs> and I definitely didn't. So the second time through the drive-through was somehow even more awkward than the first. I say four piece, eight piece, or twelve piece. Okay, I'm sorry, I have bad hearing. Yeah, that's right. Say maybe he say eight piece. Okay. Yeah, I actually do have bad hearing, or at least a little bit. It runs in my family. My dad's practically deaf, so it's only a matter of time for me. Thank you so much. All right, the churro fries have been acquired. Again, there's no like themed bags for these sorts of things. I feel like oh well. Okay, well. This is, this is themed at least. This is by far the best looking of the packaging for the for the items. I mean, I guess the Wednesday burger does look like it might be packaged fairly well, but uh, for the most part, these things are usually pretty lame. Like with the SpongeBob thing we did, there was basically no themed packages. It was just like some stickers thrown in there. I do wish when they do these things that they would go a little bit further, but I guess this actually isn't that bad. So right when I was about to complain about it, let's see, what's in this thing? Just some uh, churros, no dipping sauce or anything, I guess? Some kind of like uh, chocolate or vanilla, oh shit. Anyway, well, as I was saying, some kind of uh, dipping sauce would, would have gone a long way with this, I think, but hey, let's try it out. Oh yeah, it says dipping in chocolate bewitches me, but I didn't get any chocolate sauce. I'm not going through the drive-thru again. That was so cringy both times. I can't handle a third time. I'll just have it without the chocolate. These are warm. Pretty crunchy on the outside, kind of gooey in the middle, a little French toasty in the middle to me. These are actually pretty good. Gomez's churro fries. Keep the flames of love alive with Gomez's churro fries. Deliciously crispy, fried churros coated in cinnamon, sugar, and paired with chocolate dipping sauce. Assuming they give it to you. They're actually very chewy and gooey in the middle. Yeah, these are not bad. I have a feeling they're gonna be the best thing in the bunch, but I mean, realistically, this is just like fried batter with cinnamon sugar on it, so how could it not be good? But yeah, I'm ready to move on to the Wednesday burger. Let's do it. God, it's like sitting in, in cinnamon sugar and salt. God, I'm gonna have to vacuum this shit. Disgusting. The things rings. These are just freaking onion rings. I mean, whatever. Or wait, excuse me, things rings and other things? What are the other things? It kind of just looks like onion rings to me, but they're a little small. Does that make, make them different? I guess so. Things rings. Hold tight to things rings. Signature BK crispy onion ring served in themed packaging of the Adams family's beloved but mysterious one-handed helper, Thing. I guess in the movies, the Thing is like their weird little pet. He's like a hand who walks around. A disembodied hand, I should mention. These, what are these supposed to be like? They're small so they go on his fingers. <laughs> it didn't really work. Okay, I guess, sure. It's themed. It's not just onion rings, actually. These are the Thing's rings and other things. I still don't know what the other things are. <laughs> What the hell happened to this one? It got flattened. Time for your flattening, dear. Gonna try it with the barbecue sauce. They're kind of underwhelming, to be honest. They're almost like a little soggy. I can't even tell if there's an onion in this. They're like, is is that an onion? Are there onions there? It, you guys see any onions? It kind of just feels like the whole thing is batter. Maybe that's what the other things are. The other things are, th there's no onion in it. <laughs> it's just uh, onion, onion mush. Great, someone pulled up right next to me, so this is gonna be even more awkward for me than it already was. All right, the thing we've all really been waiting for, the Wednesday Whopper. I don't really know that much about Wednesday. She does a little dance, I guess, and then the TV show. Do pe people watch that show, right? I feel like I heard people talking about it. She's the girl. She's the girl one. And she likes purple Whopper buns, presumably. All right, let's open it up. I'm actually a little nervous. What, is this gonna be as dark purple as it looks in the advertising? For once, I almost hope that it isn't the way it looks in the advertisements. <laughs> what the hell is it? I mean, it does look pretty much exactly like it it, it does in the, I mean, it's it's certainly purple with black sesame seeds. All right, so we've got um, yeah. mayo, even though I asked for mustard, so that's great. Onions, pickles, tomato, ketchup, mustard, and a bunch of lettuce with some kind of white cheese on it. And yeah, a super purple bun. I had actually kind of convinced myself that maybe this would be good on the hour long drive over here. I was kind of excited to try it. But now that I'm actually looking at it, uh, I'm not, I'm actually not. No, I really would rather just order a different burger and throw this one out the window. I'm even less excited because it has mayo instead of mustard, which I, I really, really like mustard on my burgers. So this is a little bit of a disappointment for me. Uh, here we go. Wednesday's Whopper. Enjoy the iconic flame grilled Whopper topped with Swiss cheese, tomatoes, lettuce, mayonnaise, ketchup, pickles, and onions all toasted on a purple bun that gets into you from the purple potato topped with black sesame seeds. <laughs> Dripping. Oh my God, eat more napkins. Is, is, is it like a spicy taste almost? What is, what is what is with this? Is the cheese pepper jack? Is that what it is? The cheese is Swiss cheese, so it's definitely not that. I guess it's the bun. I'm getting a very strange like taste right off the bat. It's kind of like peppery almost. I, I don't know how to describe it. I believe the bun is purple because of purple potatoes or something. That's what it says in the description. There's gotta be a bunch of artificial in this too. I mean, this is actually super purple. Even the inside looks really, really like high contrast purple. It's kind of both impressive and disturbing at the same time. I 
I gotta say, this is really not very good. <laughs> yeah, it's really not. We just did the Krabby Patty uh, burger from Wendy's and that was basically the same toppings. And I gotta say, this one tastes a lot worse than that one. And the purple hue is really not doing it any favors. I'm really only eating at this point because I am genuinely starving. So uh, otherwise I probably would have stopped already. Their lettuce is ass too. Burger King, you got ass lettuce. This is ass lettuce. <laughs> very mushy tomato. And overall really not that great experience, I have to say. Maybe the shake will make me happy. A little bit. A pretty sad and disappointing burger. Everything else was just mid at best. Definitely not worth the hour long drive. And Toasty, I hate you. And Burger King, you're no Wendy's. Step your game up. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you check out the SpongeBob Krabby Patty or whatever other things we have on the screen. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Like the video and subscribe. I'm leaning into that like that's the like the video and subscribe. I didn't get this crown. Where's where's my crown? Where, where's my crown, Mr. King? You bitch.